Hello, my name is Carrie Brown and I am with the Central Mississippi Regional Library System. Today, I am going to be reading to you chapters 1 and 2 of Permaids, Mary Fishmas by Sudipta Bardhan Qualen, illustrations by Vivian Wu, and published by Random House Children's Books, New York. Chapter 1 It was a cold December morning. Coral was out of her oyster shell bed even earlier than usual. Today was room Il 12's Fishmas party, and she was too excited to sleep. Coral got up and brushed her orange fur. She put on her green Fishmas sweater that said, Happy Holidays! Then she snapped on her friendship bracelet. It was very special because her best friends in the ocean, Angel and Shelly, wore matching ones. The charms reminded them of all the fun adventures they'd had together. Fishmas is my favorite time of year, Coral purred at breakfast. Permaids celebrated lots of holidays like Founders Day, Groundhogfish Day, and International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Each holiday had its own traditions, and there was at least one palsome thing about each one. But for Coral, Fishmas was the most fin credible. She loved Fishmas more than all the other holidays put together. It's my favorite, too, replied her brother Shrimp. Fishmas presents are the best. Papa laughed, but Mama shook her head. Fishmas is about more than just presents, Shrimp, she said. It's about spending time with your family and your friends. It's about being grateful for the good things in your life. It's about spreading joy and happiness to everyone you know. Shrimp lowered his eyes. I know, Mama, he mumbled. Coral leaned toward her brother and elbowed him. Mama is right, she whispered. But the presents are great. Shrimp grinned. Mama carried a plate of seaweed pancakes to the table. She pointed to the piece of paper in front of Shrimp. Is that your letter to Santa Paws? She asked. We have to put it in the snail mail today or he won't get it in time. I already sent mine, Coral said. I didn't want it to be late. Being late was against the rules, and she hated breaking the rules. I'm almost done, Shrimp said. I just need a few more minutes. Mama checked the clock on the wall. I have some Fishmas errands to do, she explained, so I have to leave now. Shrimp frowned. Can I have ten more minutes? When Mama shook her head, he asked, Can you take it, Papa? Papa said, Sorry, but I have to go get our Fishmas sea fan today. If I don't, we won't have anything to decorate tomorrow on Fishmas Eve. Every year, permaids all around Kittentail Cove decorated their town to spread Fishmas spirit. They hung garlands made of kelp, pearls, and sea glass. They carved ice sculptures of Santa Paws and Jack Frost. They made ornaments out of shells and starfish to decorate Fishmas sea fans in their homes. Most of the Fishmas sea fans in Kittentail Cove were about as tall as grown-up permaid. But there were always two giant sea fans in town. One was in front of the Kittentail Cove library. The other was at Coral's house. Are you going to get the biggest Fishmas sea fan you can find? Shrimp asked. Papa grinned. I always do, don't I? Shrimp looked down at his letter. How will I get this to Santa Paws? He whined. Don't worry, Shrimp, Mama said. Santa Paws has been keeping an eye on you all year long. He already knows what you'd write in your letter. But I changed my mind at the last minute, Shrimp said. He can't know that. Yes, he can. Mama replied, it's part of the magic of Fishmas. Shrimp didn't look like he agreed with Mama. Suddenly, Coral had an idea. I can mail it, she said. We swim past the post office on our way to sea school. She turned to her parents. You two go ahead. I'll drop off Shrimp's letter. You will? Shrimp asked. Thank you, you're my favorite sister. I'm your only sister, Coral purred, smiling. Thank you for taking this responsibility, Coral, Mama said. It's a truly fishmasy thing to do, Papa added. I hope Santa Paws is watching now, Coral joked, so he brings me something extra special. I couldn't send a letter to Santa Paws without you, Shrimp said, so you deserve it. 
Coral felt her face getting warmer. I'm happy to do it, buddy, she said. She ruffled Shrimp's fur. Think of this as my fishmas gift to you. Shrimp scowled. Wait, you are going to get me another present too, right? A real present? Coral laughed. You'll have to wait until fishmas morning to see, she said. Chapter 2 While Shrimp worked on his letter, Coral finished her breakfast. Then she glanced at her brother. He was still writing. I hope he hurries, she thought. Did you pack your gift for today, Coral? Papa asked. I'll double check now, Coral said. She reached into her backpack and held up a small package. Here it is. I wrapped it in red and green seaweed so it would look especially meowy. Is it for me? Shrimp asked. Coral shook her head. Not this one, buddy, she said. This is for my class's white elephant seal gift exchange. What's that? Shrimp asked. Everyone brings in a present, Coral explained. Then we put all the presents in a big pile and everyone chooses one. You don't know who brought it in or what it is, so it's a surprise. I think a white elephant seal gift exchange is such a nice idea, Papa purred. Miss Harbor always has great ideas, Coral replied. What are you bringing? Shrimp asked. Coral opened one corner of the package so Shrimp could peek in. It's a fishmas decoration, Coral said. I painted a cone shell red. I used snail slime to stick small pearls around the bottom and one on the tip. It looks like the hat that Santa Paws wears, Shrimp squealed. Exactly, Coral said. I know that the white elephant seal gifts can end up with anyone, but it would be nice if Shelly or Angel picked this one. She put the present back into her bag and floated over to her brother. Are you done with your letter? Just one more minute, Shrimp said. Coral checked the clock. I'm going to be late. Hurry up. I'm hurrying, Shrimp exclaimed. Coral played with her bracelet as she waited for her brother. She sometimes did that when she was worried, and right now she was worried about the time. Finally, Shrimp put his sea pen down. He folded the letter and put it in an envelope. I'll take that, Coral said. She almost snatched it from his paws. I have to go. Thank you for mailing it, Shrimp shouted. Coral was already rushing out the door. Maybe if I swim fast enough, she thought, going to the post office won't be a problem. Angel and Shelley were waiting for Coral in Leandra Square. They were both dressed up in fishmas sweaters for the class party. Shelley was wearing a silver sweater decorated with red starfish. Angel's red sweater said Meowy and Bright in big gold letters. Coral barely stopped swimming when she reached her friends. We've been here forever, Angel said. I know, Coral replied. I'm sorry. I had to wait for my brother to finish his letter to Santa Paws. And now I'm supposed to bring it to the post office. Don't worry, Coral, Shelley purred. We have enough time. We can drop it off and get to school before the bell. That was what Coral thought, too. Until the post office came into view. On most days, there were maybe three or four permaids waiting to mail something. But today, the line stretched out into the street. Coral frowned. We can't wait in that line, she said. It would take too long. We could be a little late for sea school, Angel suggested. We'll just explain what happened. I think Miss Harbor will understand. Coral shook her head. Being late is against the rules. Why don't we plan to come back after school, Shelley said. We have to swim back this way. This afternoon we'd have plenty of time to wait our turn. Coral bit her lip. She promised Shrimp she'd mailed his letter. But she didn't promise to do it in the morning. That's a good plan, Shelley, she said. Then what are we waiting for? Angel asked. Last one there is a rotten skag. Thank you. That's all for today. Be sure to join us next week for chapters three and four. Goodbye.